Now Londoners who commute every day probably aren't aware of exactly what's around them so today we're going to help you discover the district line and things you never knew about it. Now many of you of course are going to know this already and it might sound a bit train spotterish but did you realise the difference between the trains that go from Wimbledon to the city and the ones that go from Wimbledon to Edgware Road or the Circle Line trains are the same as well and the difference is these have got one door but the others have got two doors but as you're walking down the platform you actually get to see which ones they are so you know whether it's going to your destination or not. Got it? Good. Now if you've been to East Putney station before you might have noticed that on this side of the platform it looks like it's been abandoned but then you look closer and you see the rails have actually been used. So what is it for? Well apparently just once a day a train comes through about 5am. It's not even an underground train. Where's it going? Who knows? And underneath that bridge is another fascinating example of great architecture on the London Underground. But the real reason we're here at East Putney is to show you this. So just about five minutes walk from East Putney Station is a rather special way of crossing the River Thames. Now there aren't many ways of crossing it by foot, but this is. Now to get to it, just follow this map and you can see there's a couple of entrance points and when you get here, you're in for a treat. It's a lovely peaceful walk up and down here, well until a train comes along. But what a great way to discover the Thames on one of the very few footpaths across with this amazing view and not a single car or lorry in sight. Now the signage around the London Underground varies enormously as well from the heritage signage like this, although having said that this is actually a replica, all the way through to the modern signage. So maybe just lift your head occasionally and have a look what's out there. The other thing is keep your eyes open for different pieces of artwork. For example, this is a new project for art on the underground. It's called Labyrinth. There's 270 in total. Here at Putney Bridge this is 124 and there's a different one for every station. We're now at Fulham Broadway and this is the entrance that used to be the entrance of what was then the Wallam Green Tube Station and you'd come down here down the steps which now is purely just a crossover point and there's a lovely clock up there as well, an old London transport clock. Now this all changed when they built the new shopping centre above Fulham Broadway creating a brand new entrance and a far more modern extension. Here at Earl's Court you can see more very interesting architecture and what's also interesting here is did you know there's actually a tunnel that goes underneath the road directly into Earl's Court but it's not used very much these days only on the very big events but it is used on films and more and you might even actually see it if you keep your eyes open. Well we hope you've enjoyed our insight into the district line between Earl's Court and Wimbledon and we'll have more reports for you soon. This is Alistair Greener for South West London TV.